a start in Huntsville. The Huntsville Board of Education says it took parents' surveys into account when coming up with the school plan. Parents have until July 20th to select between traditional and virtual. The director of operations says the school district won't have a clear picture of how social distancing looks until after registration is complete. The, um, the amount of social distancing that can actually take place depends on how many children are actually there. And that's one of the reasons that we are really encouraging parents to look carefully at the virtual option. The more families choose the virtual option, the easier it will be to social distance the individual spaces in the school building. The school district will discuss what is possible after enrollment is completed. The director of operations says if there are a lot of students in the traditional setting, the district might have to use a staggered schedule for students. The Huntsville School Board of Education says it's also keeping a close eye on the rising number of cases. The superintendent says that they will update parents on what the first day of school might look like on the first week of August. With 31's Casey Albrighton is live at Huntsville City School District's office with how parents feel about the new plans. Casey. Yeah, I spoke to more than 10 different parents and basically there's no consensus. They're all divided on whether or not to put their kids in a physical classroom setting or to do the virtual school program. Now the district says when it comes to putting kids in the physical classroom setting, they're going to enforce using face masks and they're also going to try to enforce social distancing as much as possible. When it comes to school buses, the district says it's going to try to enforce putting one student in each seat on the bus and then for students that do live together they can share a seat that is also to enforce social distancing now the parents I spoke to who will be choosing to do virtual school they say this seems really unrealistic they don't think that a bus driver can sit there and monitor whether students are social distancing or not on the bus while they're focusing on driving other uh, parents tell me that they really do want their kids to have that social interaction in class so they try the district to make sure that they are cleaning and sanitizing regularly. Now, the, the district set a July 20th deadline for anyone who does want to sign up for that virtual program. Reporting live in Huntsville, Casey Albright and Way 31 News.